Hey friends, I just wanted to pop in because I've had something on my mind. I have been working on this health article that I've been sharing with you guys, or I've been saying I'm going to share it, and I have it done, and I've had people look at it, and I've had it edited, but I just, I just instinctively feel that it's not time to share it, um, and that's mainly because I've been feeling lately like I don't need to, um, it's not beneficial for me to choose one type of eating or one way of eating. And I feel like this article in some way kind of says I departed from veganism and went back to a certain way of eating. And if I'm being honest, if I'm being honest, I change my diet all the time. Um, and I just feel like I don't really want to explain why I jumped around because ultimately my intuition guides me where I need to be at various stages in life and I trust my intuition and recently it's been getting a lot stronger uh, and I feel intuitively pulled kind of come on nurse my puppy wants to come on come on come on I know you want up come on yeah she's gonna sit with me I guess um, I've been feeling pulled back to eating more plants and I say that because it feels scary to me because I told our audience, you guys, last year that I was going to be eating and sharing recipes that were not plant-based. And the truth of it is, it's kind of scary to run a food blog these days because I feel like you kind of need to stick to a message. And recently, I just, just don't really feel like I want to do that. I think that it's a very masculine energy to say, say the thing you're going to do and follow through and do it. And um, I think that that's a great quality. And I've been following that kind of energy and belief system for a while now. But I think I'm just leaning a lot more into my feminine energy, which is allowing me so much freedom and flexibility to explore and really grow and navigate my life on a day-to-day -day basis and say like what sounds fun or what sounds healing or nurturing for me today. So yeah, it's kind of hard to... Yeah, it's it's a lot. I have a lot of thoughts around it, but essentially I just don't feel ready to share that article because it's, I'll put it out and then in three weeks I'll feel different about it. Or I'll put it out and people will have such mixed opinions on my journey and I'm not really looking for opinions on my journey because ultimately it doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> I know that for some of you it could be helpful um, from a health standpoint, but everyone's journey is so personal and I just feel that everyone has to kind of go through their journey in their own time and in their own way and I have been on a wild ride the last five years and I've been learning and growing so so much and I'm so grateful for that and I don't think I could have listened to anyone else's advice on what to do because at each stage of it I was exactly where I was supposed to be um, of course, if I feel intuitively to share anything about my healing journey or my changing diet, then I will. But currently, I don't. Um, I'm just going to keep creating recipes that make me feel good on a day-to-day -day basis, and that's enough structure for me right now. Um, structure has been feeling really scary to me lately and unnecessary. And um, yeah, the only structure I'm willing to stay within is simple recipes, basically. Um, and that's totally fine with me. So anyways, just wanted to share.